here live. Oh, good. I, I hate being a zombie. Really? Brains. Brains, brains. brains. It's so close, right? Trains. Automobiles? Yes. You're too old to remember that movie. It was terrible anyways. Seriously, it was terrible. No, actually, I did see it before. I went to go... My uncle took me to see it when I was, like, 10. And I was like, why are we watching this? It turns out it was a double feature with Spaceballs, which was awesome. But we are totally off topic right now. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. This is Shubias. And Sadie. And today we are playing uh, Alpha 18 for RimWorld, as the title of the stream, you know, suggests. It's right there. So it is. And, yeah. At so least today... It, at least it should say that is a stream. However, it does not. It does not yet. You got this? Yep. If I could spell unstable. So, this is RimWorld Alpha 18. It came out over this weekend. It is an unstable build. They haven't yet um, fully passed this one out. But, if you have it on Steam, you can pull this now. Which is what we did. And for those who have watched this for some time, you will remember that RimWorld is one of our classic sort of OG games. It is. And we are now sharing some love. I don't think I'm just going to do the crash landed. Um, and I'm going to do a Cassandra Classic on some challenge. Sounds good. What do you think my siege should be? Um, Kitten's Attack. Kitten's Attack. Kitten Shell Attack. Because you always end up with a swarm of cats in this game. Which is hilarious because you end up with a swarm of cats in real life too. So, there shall be kittens. And we have uh, Kitty Cat, um, one of our usual subs. Hey there! Uh, Chibi is playing today. I am monitoring chat and giving my helpful two cents. Are they helpful? Usually they are. I am late. Okay, there we go. And the first thing people will notice is that the world map now has names for the various areas. I love that so hard because I'm always trying to figure out, is this green the darkest green or the medium green? Look, I don't put that much thought into the color of the clothes I wear, people. I don't need to look at a topographical map and try to guess which green is the right green. So at least now it warns me that, you know, oh, you're picking a swamp visually. For example, if it's this tangle, you know you're in a swamp or a Disney movie, but most likely a swamp. I am just going over the map. I am looking for one of the sp new features of this game. Would you yes, like you to, are. W would you like to share this? Sure. So the new one of the new goodies in this one is that you can get naturally spawning caves. Remember before you had to dig them out yourself? No, no, no. Now we have caves that are inhabited by cave animals. Just random cave monsters hang out there and yeah so far on our trial yesterday um we were not getting attacked by them like they weren't coming out and swarming outside the cave um but there were plenty of cave monsters present inside the cave so lots of and you all know how i feel about spiders there were spiders <laughs> <laughs> she wanted nope. to squish the spiders yeah, and then if you're next to the sea, it says coast, and you actually can have water on the edge of your map that's seawater, which I thought was pretty neat. Alright. Uh, Prime Armadillo Range. Can we love that name for a moment? Uh, we 
we're going to be between Black Yak Cliffs and Prime Armadillo Range. Alright, but if there are not in fact Black y Yaks on Black Yak Cliff, I will be sad. Alright, and now we get to look at the new character creation screen. Yep. You have options, which I love. I, I, I do too. So. Uh, what do you mm -hmm. think? I, well, the thing I want to point out is now it gives you, you know, three that you can select and five that get left behind and you get sort of eight people you can choose from. Now, in true RimWorld style, I got the eight most dysfunctional people ever. <laughs> But on the bottom, it shows you your team skills, which is sort of your checkup to make sure that you don't, in fact, select a team with, like, a shooting of zero. Not that I've ever done that before. And none of these guys are really that good. Yep, you can still randomize. Ooh, ha ha ha, the health on Grub there is just awful. Wow, you could, like... Mm. Yeah. Oh, look, that one's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of intellectuals wimp those low pain tolerance. Inevitably, I get like groups of people that I wouldn't even talk to in real life because they're such terrible people. <laughs> A greedy masochist. That's a charming one. Ugly but kind. Yeah, I'm looking for, well, Ooh, social that's of 16 easy. on this one, and medicine of 11, mm -hmm. and growing of 7. Mm, psychically dull, that's fine. Incapable of artistic, wait, incapable of caring, does that mean that medicine will be disabled? Yes. Well. So much for that high medicine score being useful. You're a little bit behind. Well, I'm, I'm getting the same lag that our views, viewers are, unfortunately. But that's okay. Capable of none. Incapable of nothing is always good because inevitably you end up with that one guy who's left alive. You need something hauled, and he's dying there because he refuses to go pick up the medicine in the field 10 feet from storage. Why do I always get that guy? Honestly, I'm just looking for, you know, a decent ish. I need to find a decent construction. Because I keep forgetting that construction is now. Oh god, yeah, it matters now. Um, so one of the things that has changed is there is minimal construction levels. The way there used to be minimum cooking levels. So when we were doing this last night and I was sort of cobbling together a little bit here, a little bit there. I, Tee hee, I didn't, you know, worry too much about construction because you can always build walls and floors and get that up fast. No, no, no. Solar panels now have a minimum of five to construct, and I didn't have anyone who could build a solar panel. So I had to wind power and use the field generators and basically rub two sticks together, hoping that somebody eventually would figure out how to put a solar panel together. And I think it took about an hour and a half, real life, to get people up high enough to even start solar. And that was painful. There's a lot of hunting and a lot of food, you know, limping along until we got that. Come on, just give me a little <laughs> bit more construction. Dumb labor, you know what? There we go. We have somebody that's incapable of dumb labor, but construction of 12. 
that seems workable. And it looks like the rest of your team is fairly balanced. So I say we roll the dice and see what we get. Alright, let's see what we get. Yep, I have to sneak off into the kitchen for about 10 seconds. Dinner is currently cooking. For those of you out there who are wondering, it is in fact fresh homemade tamales tonight. I'll be right back in a second. Chibi, do not set anything on fire. Set things on fire, got it. <laughs> All right. some caves and my timing looks pretty darn good there yep we have some caves I thought this was big hills but it's not however I think I can make this work because that hmm. looks pretty workable Who had the worst shooting? <laughs> I like how you go and do it backwards like I do. Guy who can't shoot, you get the knife. Other guy, guy who shoots best gets the hunting rifle. Other guy gets the handgun. So I think at this point probably everybody has played RimWorld, but if not, uh, I'll talk a little bit about it while you get everyone set up here. Uh, RimWorld is a sort of a colony survivalist sim. Um, moral of the story, if you will, is your group of, uh, in this particular scenario, your group of three people crash land on a planet, you wake out at a cryostasis as your sh uh, ship is exploding around you, you get to the pods, and here you go, make do. And that is basically the premise you're going. To win the game, you have to get your maybe not terribly scientifically inclined people to build a, to research enough technology to learn how to build a spaceship and get off of the planet. Now, um, I have actually won the game and gotten my colonists off a planet uh, over, uh, we did film that one on our YouTube channel. And I'll grab you a link here in a sec, or you can always, you know, just look for a set of Epic Lion Saplings. But honestly, three quarters of the fun in this is the myriad of ways that your tiny, tiny, quarter of an inch tall people manage to kill themselves despite your best interventions. This is, it's a very cutesy game. It's a hard game. It punishes you for being stupid. It punishes you for bad luck. And Lord help you. You know, it will introduce random psychotic pyromaniacs to be your new best friends. Hey, oh, hey, hey, I'm doing a thing. You are. You are cracking open a vault first move. That is bold. And that might be stupid. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, it's stupid. It is often stupid. Holy stupid. Oh my god, that is... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. I should be more supportive, but I can't right now. <laughs> oh my word. What? I... 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 <laughs> chips? I don't even... Dude, you're doing this because you're going to make me play the next round, aren't you? <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> All right, well, that's that was just for funsies. I should have saved first. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. Oh my gosh. So, that is what happens when you crack open what's called an... Did it give you the ancient danger warning? It happened so fast I didn't catch whether it did or didn't. It gave it to me right as she was picking at the door. <sighs> That's a little, uh, you know off on timing but yeah that that was a thing so yeah chibi did a thing um when you get to these planets there will sometimes be a preformed room and that one has the uh sort of a defensive cyborg ai thing that's hostile to everything they're basically defense bots that are left and uh at the best times, you want to be really, really well put together. Are you picking a place in something called a cobra forest? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, to the green trunk ocean. Let's do it, man. Uh, but yes, so normally when you open those much later in game, where there's maybe less of a chance that you will be two guys with a stick and a pop gun. <laughs> but uh, Chibi is not known for delicate finessing gameplay. He's more of a, well, I got killed by an alpaca I randomly tried to feed. My, it's my, my, alpaca. My, might I point out the... Uh... Time you were slaughtered by kittens? No, I was going to say the one time you had the colonists that loved to pet burning animals. Mm. I did, in fact, get a colonist that liked to pet burning animals. Like, literally on fire, and they would walk up and pet pet. And they look really, really confused that they were on fire. Still not sure how that worked, but they were confused. A kind pyromaniac. Well, he makes sure it really wants to be on fire first. But the stats aren't really that great. It doesn't matter because you're going to build out of wood and then it's all going to be burnt. Pyromaniacs are one of my no-go traits. Like, most of them I can usually go with. Somebody wants to join and they're a pyromaniac, I just nicely tip my hat and let them die in the desert because I don't have time for you. I mean, you know, if I'm going to build out of wood, the last thing you want. It's like when I leave the house and I tell the kids don't light the house on fire. I expect them to take that literally. And you can't trust your pyro not to light your house on fire. <laughs> because pyro. But yeah, I think perhaps, maybe just perhaps, we might not want to light, you know, things on fire or go opening mysterious doors, Scooby-Doo, <laughs> until we're prepared. Now, some of the other things you can get in there is you can find a bunch of cryopods that have um, other people in them. Basically, former colonists of the map, of your map that went into cryosleep earlier. Sometimes you'll find a room with loot. Sometimes you'll just find a room. And here's our re-roll. Lots more mountains. Some good mushrooms. Mushrooms are now randomly spawning caves that used to be in a mod only, but now there are mushrooms within the caves. So that's one of the perks, if you will. You're not a good. <laughs> you're good at shooting. And you're the melee. 
Alright. Yep, picking up the weapons. Now, melee is a stat that um, had some adjustments. It used to be don't even bother um, because it, you know, people would die before they could get properly in there to mix it up anyways. But that is something that they have put some changes and adjustments to. Do I want a melee to show up in every situation? No. But there are times where that melee is not the handicap it used to be. And of course always set manual priorities because you don't want your, you know, quarter inch tall people guessing what you want them to do. I find that like real life coworkers are often wrong on that. Mm. You might want to turn cook on for everybody because at least a level four will make sure that they do butcher. Okay, yeah, that's right. I'm nothing more frustrating than taking all the time to go hunt. And then, you know, your meat rots in storage. Same with growing and plant cutting, because that way they will harvest rather than letting things rot in the field. Handy bits of knowledge I have learned. Somebody's asking for what our narrator and difficulty is. This is a Cassandra classic, right? Yes. And... Gosh, uh, difficulty is the third one. Uh, I'm trying to think what it's called. Some challenge. So there we go. Typed it out as well because, well, I assume everyone wants to hear my sparkling voice, but in case, right? Plus, that way anyone who's looking at it later can find it. That would be why uh, somebody couldn't construct. Because I didn't unforbid the wood. You gotta unforbid the wood. Also, you need to have your stockpile set up so that they can start dropping things down. Yep, I have that set up. <laughs> Friendly reminder for everyone who's, you know, looking for how to start. Because it does occur to me that, you know, there are people who probably have not yet discovered the endless joy of watching tiny quarter-inch people find new ways to kill themselves. Personal favorite, once uh, Chibi had a swarm of man-hunting kittens slowly nuzzle his villagers to death, and I laughed. I laughed for a good solid 20 minutes. It was like the most adorable death ever. You know, now I think about it, you really need more supporter friends to help you play. Roof area over here, mm -hmm. and over my stockpile zone. Yep. Alright, mushrooms. What can mushrooms do? Uh, some are light sources, some are food. And if you click on it, yep, down to the eye. where I want to put my growing zone at. Hmm. I usually put it a couple steps from wherever I'm going to put my food storage. Alright. I'm going to put it down here right now. I'm going to have an 8x8 eight eight of rice. And then a... 8 by 8 of Hyoru. Perfectly sensible. Oh, uh, yep. I don't have anybody that can grow Hyoru at the moment. Mm -hmm. Throw it into potatoes for now and have it be hill root later. Ooh, or cotton. Now, 
Now, I like to throw my farms in the middle of a bunch of trees so they automatically plant cut that wood while they're at it. Because I find that the more I can make them do two things at once, the happier I am. Oh wow, I found some gold ore. Nice! Always convenient. And you will end up needing some if we get long enough to get off planet. Overhead Mountain, that's not what I want. Mm, Chips is making himself a little back door cut through. means well, you can't grow much there. But I can smooth it. Mm. Perfectly sensible. And because of how the uh, little uh, natural wall rock formations are, it would be pretty easy to wall that off so that your solar panels and whatever else don't get attacked so easily. Protection, butcher stable. Mm-hmm. And do not forget to turn on butchering. Not that I've ever completely done that before. <laughs> now I'm just going to abuse the fact that we have an overhead mountain here. Yep, and make it into a workroom. Yep. Yeah, that's a really convenient little room that they decide to throw in there for you. What animal did you get? I didn't even think to look. You should have gone to... Oh, I think I just saw it. Tiny dog? Not so tiny dog? Labrador. Oh, Labrador. That's good. I hope, when I let the game pick for me, half the time I end up with a Yorkie. And then Yorkies, they're cute, but inevitably, then the next thing you know, some, you know, random jerk is killing my, you know, puppies because they're all Cruella de Vil up in here. And you just, Yorkies are too small to haul, they're too small to rescue, and they basically just, they act like tiny, furry, you know, non-human shields and get killed during raids. That's all my Yorkies have ever managed to do, is get themselves killed at inopportune times. But I think they're Yorkies and not Corgis, because if they made those Corgis, people would be all up in arms. Everybody loves the cute corgi. I have a nudist with unhappy unnudity. Unhappy unnudity, huh? Yep. You have a nudist? I have a nudist. That uh, works real great in the winter when the snow hits, man. Uh, luckily, this is a time for summer. Permanent summer. I had one in a uh, icy the uh, tundra biome who was upset that he had to wear clothes and kept trying to freeze to death. Yep, you're gonna have to deal with cobras. Now, one of the advantages to this game is if you have a map with predators, sooner or later they will leave small things dead that you can then, you know go butcher you go. gonna need to make a food storage place pretty soon any idea where you're gonna tuck that um see the area above the uh, butcher's table mm-hmm I'm gonna, gonna wall that off and um, find a way to funnel the heat from the 
uh, coolant somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Also, do we have a place to cook yet? We have meat. Have we made a cooking table? Not yet. I have visitors. They seem to have a few items for trade. Nice. Do you think they brought a pie? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> the uh, last night we had an apple pie and it was pretty awesome. Who has my best social? Everybody is about the same. That's good. I'll let them get a little bit closer and then I'm gonna... Yep. Because that's the thing, when you buy something, they drop off whatever item it is exactly where you buy it. So if they're halfway across the map and you get it all excited and send someone out early, then you've got to haul the damn thing back. This is not Amazon, they do not in fact deliver. Just gonna send Bowman over here. Makes sense. Um, well, they have some medicine. But I don't know if I need medicine that much. You know what? I am going to buy the medicine. Gonna hedge your bets against future uh, calamity? What is, what is Beach up to? Mm, looks like you might need a dog bed. For now, there, he's just gonna get an animal sleeping spot right there. Mm -hmm. Also, one of the new uh, fabulous things is tables now have different shapes so you can kind of customize a bit more how much room you have for a table which I love because inevitably I always remember to leave room for the table but not the chairs I don't know why I expect people to magically levitate but I do Bowman thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? String Hope by the Mesa. Wow, that is, um... Halea is the colony name. Um... What am I calling this colony? Hmm. The faction name is fine, but the colony name... colony name. Well, let's see. You picked a cobra-infested jungle. So... Dumb. <laughs> dumb? <laughs> Bad location. There were no realtors to help you pick a good place. That's what I've got up. <laughs> this one. Your faction is now known as Dumb, and the community is now known as Bad Location. Alright, I'm done with that Dumb at Bad Location. Alright. Now, if you put a fuel generator inside, it does also generate heat. 
which can be a quick and dirty way if you're in a colder biome. But I don't think heat's going to be your problem here, seeing that it's all jungly. You may want to chop down those trees right next to the fuel generator so that they can uh, be used. All right. You know, it's the darndest thing, but the actual power company never gets out that fast. Have you noticed? I have. Aha, you're doing what I do. Cut down trees, put a tr little tree orchard right where you cut them down. That way they will go ahead and replant and you don't have to then send people halfway across the map. Who is my hunter? A local rat has gone mad. To be fair, like I, I see a rat coming at me, I'm, yeah. I think I tried once to climb on top of your head from a mouse. To be fair, you don't want your head climbed on. Don't be around when there's mice, though. Just them's the rules. Wow, beach. So, this is happening. I had one in last night's uh, trial round where my people were terrible at shooting cause it was early, early in game. First guy who had a, you know, raider that had a gun. He was terrible at shooting and I think they spent 15 minutes of missing each other. It was just, it was painful to watch. Sounds about right. Alright. Yep, just miss, 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 miss. Painful. Oh, so those are the red maples. Aren't they pretty? Yep. It takes 25 days to grow. Up mm -hmm. to full. Alright, who is my doctor? Mario. Oh lord. Quickdraw wants to note that Randy once gave him man hunting polar bears in an arid shrubland. That's why he's random? <laughs> attack kittens, attack polar bears in the desert. That that's pretty terrible actually. <laughs> um I sen I tend to get angry boomalopes and angry boom rats. And that that's an especially horrific thing. Because they're angry, they're at your door, you have to kill them, or they're going to kill you. But if you kill them, you open a bigger hole for the rest of all of their friends to come in and kill you. And that's just, that. that's a no. I'm not a fan of the man-hunting packs of boomalopes. And it's happened more than a few times. That is a rather nice little courtyard you've got going on there, though. Yep, I can seal that spot up, and if they funnel through, then hey, I still have, you know, a place to defend from. I completely agree with your defensiveness there. Speaking of which, the game would like to remind you that you need defenses. Yeah, working on it. Yeah, boomalopes will wreck your crew. Boomalopes and boom wraps have ruined more of my, you know, 
90% complete runs than I want to think about. So currently you're doing the defend a cave method, which is a bit OG, but gotta love the classics. Um, I tend to do a little village with a courtyard. By the way, of course, it is putting a ceiling there, which you may not want. Just going to be over here saying you're obvious. <laughs> there you go. Unroofing the roof. Because I plan on, at some point, putting a solar panel down there. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you've got all that ground that is otherwise uh, not doing you any good. You've also got a cassowary that's stuck in there. What's your animal taming at? Think about making one freakishly bird friend? Uh, minimum handling skill of six. Or you could let it slowly starve to death and have Thanksgiving. Because I'm mean. <laughs> I did once get attacked by man-hunting beavers. That was a stupidly funny event as well. Oh, no usable food. That's why I'm not taming it. Mm, what, does it need vegetables? Probably. Well, you've got a little bit of grass for it to eat. If you put that battery there, you're going to have to dig around it. Yeah, but you can move batteries. Okay. Besides, I'm using the fact that I've got a little stove and generating some power. Makes sense to me. So, what do you think's next on the list? The uh, cold room? And right on time, your people start complaining about the food supply. I guess we should be happy that early in game they're predictable. <laughs> All right. Time for a fridge. Because I just saw some rice being picked. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, and we are training that cassowary with some rice. Hmm. You know, they are sort of a bizarrely weird looking bird. They change the sound to uh, of the raid. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, you know, I got a weird raid one yesterday that wasn't actually a raid sound. I have Ray Wolfen sacrifice coming in. Oof. It is not good when you are the raider and your job is sacrifice. Can we just pause for a moment and realize how terrible of a choice that is? I think I found the ancient evil spot. Yay? Oh, well, yeah. But. Like, that that is how this guy knows his tribe does not like him. They are sending him alone, without great weapons, and calling him the sacrifice. But yep, you got mega spiders, which are not technically spiders. I'm pretty sure they're a scyther from Pokemon, to be honest. And that's kind of come down to the question of, is it worth it to grab the royal jelly from them? You got a lot of capybaras. Looks like a lot of dead rats, so the cobras are doing their job of thinning out the rats. Alright, now time to run my power cord cable. Yes, my power cord. Yeah, same thing. So where is the sacrifice at? Mmm. Zoom out and look for the red name. He might be still preparing to attack. But he was on the north half of the map. There he is. I yeah, I do have to love how, you know, they're like, We're raiders, we are totally lost on their way to you. Where is he going? Is he gonna go oh. through the cave? Oh, oh. oh. oh no. Oh. Oh, oh no no no! You 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 just ha! Oh. oh man! Wait, did he trigger? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Oh, it's asleep. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it while it sleeps. Can we all just pause for a moment and appreciate that the dude whose job title was Sacrifice actually sacrificed himself? <laughs> oh, Ramworld, too much honesty there. No, the Sacrifice, I think, did its job. Because I think we're gonna be dying here. Oh, 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 oh. You got one person still sleeping. Oh, your dog's down too. That sucks. Um, yeah. You know what? That one guy. That one guy just killed my colony. What about the person sleeping? So, I guess we now know that you don't have to be the one to trigger, if anyone can trigger. Oh, 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 oh. So, someone asked if there's a mega spider nest. Yes, it is on the map. Um, the raider who came in walked through it, which triggered them into manhunting frenzy, and that's when they went and they stormed. As part of the caves getting added in Room World 18, Mega Spiders now um, spawn on the map without being mined out. So, yes, the raider named Sacrifice sacrificed himself to trigger this event. And, um, yeah. Is the Mega Spider half dead or is it fully healing now? That is it's injured. It looks like it's sleeping, but I'm not sure if you can get out far enough to save your dog or your other guy. Mm. 
Mm. I'm sorry. Rip. Your dog. Rip, pupper. Yep. Come on, 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 come on. All right. Uh, have you switched those both over to medical beds yet? Nope. Sure, the spiders have returned because there's one up north too. Oh, that was mean. That was mean. Oh, what? Well, hey, that one's dead. So, I think you may be able to come back from this, but uh, that, that was terrible. And now they have to eat insect meat. Alright, um, next thing would be to actually set up, yep, that food storage zone that we didn't get a chance to set up because all of that happened. But yes, mega spiders uh, and cave insects do spawn in the naturally occurring caves. They are docile until someone walks through, at which point they trigger. And uh, that's the event that we just had. And yeah, that was mean. people pick up their guns yeah I would too and uh, maybe a giant industrial sized can of raid so there's the spider nest there's looks like just the one spider is left on map now yeah that's the injured one ah <sighs> I really don't want to encourage you to go after it though until you guys are healed up and maybe slightly better on weapons. But yeah, at some point you're going to have to clear that out. Yep. Because, dang, yo, dang. That's what it is. We need to send up a giant shoe. So... Along with the new calamities of random cave spiders being just hanging out on your map, you can also be hit with a tornado now. Yep, tornadoes. Um, and we, I haven't had one happen naturally in-game, but I have um, seen them triggered, and it's uh, pretty dicey. So, although at this point, Chibs, I'm not wishing tornadoes upon you. I just want to be clear, I am not saying your tornadoes come take out Chibs. He kills himself just fine without my help. Now, does it consider the back of that cave interior or exterior? Interior. All right. Making sure. All right, I think it's time to attempt to joy. Also, someone noted that uh, they cannot believe you stabilized that station with two down colonists. To be fair, I know you're pretty good, so I'm not totally surprised, but oh, that was dicey as heck. It was. But yeah, 
a quick draw Jibs is actually pretty good just a little derpy when it comes to the should I open this vault of death <laughs> <laughs> and the cassowary any long lasting damage done to your colonists I do not believe so just a whole bunch of uh, claw marks and Actually, That's... Beach has a damaged eye. Oh. What was he shooting at before? Because that'll screw up your shooting. Shooting accuracy, 94.6. Oh, six. Uh, That's not terrible. That's not... Oh, no. Hmm. Well, dog meat is on the menu, boys. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> you can so not dog sit now. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, my dog totally loves you. I think my dog loves you more than me. I'm just saying. <laughs> Then again, I'm the one that puts the cone of shame on her. You're the one that gives pat pat. So I guess I understand that. All right, we have stabilized out a bit. It looks like you're even making fancy meals now. Dang. Lucy, why are you out of bed? Severe illness, infection. 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 Extreme. Yeah, get back in bed. Who's your best doctor? The one that's currently sick with the infection. Since uh, you got self-treat on? Just did it. I do like that they put self uh, treatment now on there. Okay, where is Lucy taking a nap at? She has developed immunity to. Nice. She's Her. napping in the hallway. He. Lucy's a he? Yep. Sure. Is his name short for Lucifer? <laughs> Oh no. Lucius. Ah. Lucius. Very Malfoy of them. I don't know. I can't quite see the dude from Harry Potter accepting Lucy as a nickname, though. I imagine some dark wand stuff would happen in like five seconds. Alright. Now we've got Restory Qualness healing. Are more mega um, spiders spawning? They don't self heal. Mm, they don't self heal. Interesting. I guess that makes it slightly less horrible, but it's still pretty horrible. I'm just gonna go take care of the problem. Oh, 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 oh. Bold? Is it stupid? Let's find out. Oh my god, you sent a melee into it. <laughs> you do have, like, Satan's luck. You might as well un-grab that food then that's next to it and maybe kill the hive. Okay, and grab the royal jelly. Good job. Amazingly good job. <laughs> uh, I, I have to concede that you may very well be a better player than I am. Because I'm impressed, man. Yeah, and generally speaking, I'm kind of a ball buster, but no, that was brilliant. Dumb luck loves you today. 
Although you are eating bug meat in your dog, so maybe not too much. I'm just going to expand my stockpiles then. Absolutely. Makes sense. I need to make a dumping stockpile zone. Everybody needs some place to dump something. Because as we know, things on the floor slow your fullness down. Yes, they do. Well, to be fair, I trip over stuff all the time in real life. Like, that time I tripped over your shoes because you left them in the middle of the floor. <laughs> And like managed to trip over your shoes, land face first with like my face in your butt because you left your shoes in the floor. Pick your shoes up, kids, otherwise people are going to trip over them and land on your butt. This is this public service announcement brought to you by Chibi's Butt. <laughs> Time to think about expanding the base a little bit. AKA bedrooms. I, I think it's time for separate bedrooms. Oh, there's water on the map. some exposed jade. That looks like it's going pretty darn well. Yep, I'm now having my miners mine. Gotta dig them holes. So the game wants to tell you about getting more traders, outfits, and fire preparation. Now one of the drawbacks to putting your colony inside a mountain is if a fire starts in the mountain, you very quickly manage to make an oven. Uh, that was something I learned on one of my first run throughs of the game, and that was not so good. Also, your fueled stove appears to be out of wood. It is no longer. Yep. It's in the pile, they just haven't put it in yet. Quite a selection of a meal she got going on there. No longer in the dark. Oh. 
going to actually set up some research. That's a good thing. Ugh. I'm still kind of squicking that they're going to be eating make a spider peat. I mean, I know, I know, I know. You know, plane crashes, go ahead and eat me first type deal, but... You're, you're people, that's make a spider meat. <laughs> what I'm saying is, yeah, you are totally on the menu if a plane ever crash, crashes, but lucky for you, I don't actually play soccer, so I think you're safe. Looks like the cotton's starting to come in pretty soon. Let's look at the bamboo. It does look rather pretty. And it's Since I'm gonna need supplies like wood, might as well go for the fast growing bamboo. Yep. Are you in touch with your inner panda bear? Yes. You got quite a few meals, but that is still a very frustrating message to get. Have they already butchered the one that was still at the hive? Yep. All there Any is, more? All there is is uh, the sacrifice, which I think I'm going to leave his body there as a reminder. Alright, fair enough. It's not like your people are going to be heading into the cave too often. And if you think about it, he had like three other ways that would have been shorter to approach you. His AI literally drove him to the insects. And that's what was so mean about it. Alright, let's see what we shall research. Oh, and there are new research options, too. So smithing is one that you need for almost everything. Because that leads into machining, which leads into... Um, getting your guns, your auto turrets. And we all know how valuable those are when raids start really happening. There, people now have a table to eat at. And yet they'll still not eat at the table and complain. Actually, this is on the way back from where the food is. Maybe if you make them literally step on it, they'll do it? Yes. Half the time when I put it in a table, they end up still eating in the walk-in fridge. Like barbarians or teenagers. Teenagers. Teenage barbarians? Hmm. What ever happened to that old TV show Dave the Barbarian? Other than it's not around. Yes, yes, make any stone blocks. What does it require? Is it construction or...? Uh, artistic crafting, I think. Uh, 
and uh, oh well if that person is not hunting they are uh, making some stone work making some stone work You have like the best set up cave people ever. You might want to vent out that heat a little bit better though, because it looks like it's. Uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a raid. Yep. And a mad animal. Wow. That's more like the um, game we all know and love. Wait, what? <laughs> Hello, Muffin. Muffin. He's a careful shooter. With a club. Uh, Muffin, you confused. Sure. Oh, oh boy. Hmm. It's a boomalope. Ah, uh, maybe Muffin will get taken out by. Oh god, with a herd of boomalopes. Ooh. It's just the one. Yep, yep. Now, track the boomalope. He's more damaged right now than Muffin. Especially since he's a manhunter, there's every chance that he's gonna take out Muffin. So just keep your people in base. Say that. Or Muffin can take out the Boomalo. Oh, yeah, no, Boomalo took out Muffin. Just keep your people indoors for a minute or two. He'll get angry and then go take out Muffin again. You might want to draft her and stick her inside. Alright, well, you know what, guys? Expand allow area. Manage area. New <laughs> area. Exactly. Area to rename. Also, Quick Drop points out that Muffin looks like a capable medic if he doesn't die from the bad boomalope. Boomalopes, man. You know it, I know it, we all know it. Boomalopes are evil. But this, of course, answers the question of do you know the Muffin Man? Area 2 is going to be called Don't Explode. Don't Explode is going to be everything that is not outside. That sounds like a good plan. Do not explode by saying in Area 2. Yep, just ground them for a little bit. You know what? Maybe some of that... Uh, Steel ore right there. Set that for mining and just let him pick that out for a minute or two. In your little courtyard area. I will do that. Oh, do we not have... Let us actually... what do we have them more of? Limestone. <laughs> death. You have plenty of death. <laughs> oh man, you're gonna put them in the most claustrophobic prison ever. Ooh. Fire. No, okay, not a bad fire. Not a boomalope fire.
All right, guys. No reason to complain other than the psychotic pet outside. You've got plenty to do in your cubby. Okay, Bowman. Do Boomalope sleep? No muffin. No. No muffin. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Oh, uh, is oh. muffin gonna get away? All right. Oh, he might be the world's luckiest raider. No. <laughs> no, you're gonna go hunt him down. I was gonna shoot him and then rescue him. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's what he gets for being a muffin man. Alright, everybody can now be unrestricted from Don't Explode. Well, it was a good plan, man. So, if I said it m almost was a burnt muffin, would that be terrible? <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a terrible sense of humor. I also kind of want to eat a muffin now. I think I'm making muffins for breakfast tomorrow morning. Why is Beach about to have a... Feel? Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. Just a bit of feels here and there. After all that horror, let's plant a little flower and pretty that's joined up. I find it funny that I can't get an actual houseplant to live, but video game houseplants? Oh yeah, all about them. doing good like I'm nodding like you could you know <laughs> it translates so well when I nod while helping to co-host on twitch man nod nod yeah nobody sees me nodding but I am all right it's time to have an escape pod oh There's Sophia Sophia tell me about yourself are you useful <laughs> um Ooh, nearly dead. Wow. A prostophobe pyromaniac. She must be fun on a date. Can we exchange her for muffin? I don't know how to tell you this, but man, everybody the game is sending to you uh, either to attack you or now as you know let's call him a volunteer right yeah a volunteer from a crashed landed pod they're, they're sending you some absolutely terrible draftees I mean, at this like this one brought home like you know alien space bird flu or something to just make your day. All they're getting is herbal medicine or below. So what you're saying is you might be slightly helpful, but I'm not so sure. So here, if you don't die, we'll talk.
know, occasionally I get a, you know, a villager where I'm like, meh, and they end up actually being half decent. But oftentimes the ones that I'm pretty eh on to begin with end up being just terrible. Wow, all the way on the other side of the planet. Of course, it always is. I have never once managed to get to the spaceship that is just standing there waiting to be gotten to. But yeah, so what that is, is you get a note that there is a spaceship on your planet available for your use if you can reach there. And the trick is you have to then make enough food and supplies to literally cross the entire surface of the planet to get to it, which is something I've never done. I've managed to build a spaceship from scratch and take off. But I've never managed to hoard enough food to trek halfway across the globe. Hmm. What's your construction at? It looks like you're starting to suck your uh, power conduits dry again. Sophia wanted to join our colony. <laughs> of course. Ah, pyromaniac. Incapable of violent or firefighting. What can you actually do? Uh, medicine no. cooking. Nothing other than I think I might... I'm gonna look at the work. She's going to bed rest and then patient. Flick. Congratulations. You are now my janitor. <laughs> oh. Mm, and hauler. Yep. Yep. Ah, Bowman is throwing a party. Congratulations. Well, at least she got invited to the party. <laughs> Might be time for a tailoring bench, too. Actually, oh, your dude who had unhappy nudity is now dressed. No, Sophia. Okay. Who is the nudist? Because the nudist should have no gear. That's under the restrict tab, isn't it? No. I forgot where you can, uh, change what they were. Mmm, I thought it was under a sign. On the bottom row. Bowman. Bowman is the one I need to make nudist. Alright, Dale drops your clothes and then Sophia can grab those, so that saves you a little bit of time off making a tailor's bench. Looks like it's about 71 outside. That's a comfortable nudist temperature. Oh, and there's your raid. Incapable of caring. His uh. name is Termite and he's a digger. <laughs> really, game? Fine, you know what? He is going to be... If we can capture him, mm -hmm. which he's probably going to get it one shot. He has good shooting, though. Let me 
yes, you're gonna try beating down the wall. Oh my god, you set fire to it. Wait, 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 did your pyro set fire to it, or...? Termite did. Termite? Why are you so bad? So, not to be that person, but why on earth did you only send one person to shoot him? Oh, because you're trying to save. Here we go. Oh, they're doing a kidnapping instead. Okay, go shoot him. He got stabbed in the face. Oh, well, to be fair, you shouldn't try stealing other people's people. <sighs> Which means oh, your left... Bowman dashed termite with her knife, injuring his left leg while wearing a suicidal look. <laughs> Sure. That is almost as good as the explanations it gives for the artwork. This piece represents the lightness of bleak of being by being a small town under a volcano. You're like, wait, what? Okay, lightness of being. Let's go with that. Regardless, I'm gonna have to set up a Taylor Lane bench. Has anybody been researching? No. Might need to bump that one up a bit. Yeah. No. Yep, you've got it selected. They're just research is so far down the to do list that it's not getting to done. maybe knock hall down for the people that have researching as a priority because let's be honest when we were kids and your mom was like hey can you unpack the groceries nobody ever said too busy studying they were like sure i'll go get the groceries and put off you know spelling homework for five more minutes <laughs> at least yeah, i did i hated spelling homework Having to write the word three times never once taught me how to spell anything. Yay! And solar panel time! I'm gonna have to take out those trees. Oh, for the wind turbine? Mm-hmm. But that's fine, just switch over that growing zone to something that's shorter than trees. I decided to eh. Which is anything that's not trees. Yeah. If I had a psychopath, I'd be making human leather hats. Because they're comfy and easy to wear? Because some of these people don't deserve to be buried. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that's a little brutal. Well, if it makes you feel any better, they will get joy off of visiting the corpses of their fallen enemies. Train won't allow. Yeah. Alright, let's bump up the ingredient radius a little bit.
That's actually a pretty spiffy way of doing that. some more power, I'm going to actually create it in your, uh, well, with a sun lamp, mm -hmm. an indoor protected, I, greenhouse? Yes, for, uh, heel root, if I can grow heel root. Mm -hmm. Oh, which reminds me, um, for those who haven't had a chance to try 18 yet, uh, blight has changed a lot. So instead of the old way where it would be like your crops have blight and you'd walk in and everything's dead, it will actually treat it more like uh, real life plant diseases where you will get a handful of disease plants. And if you send somebody out there to plant cut those fast enough, then you uh, can stop the blight from taking out your whole crop. I appreciate this. There have been more than a few times where I've had starvation because blight decided to blight. Also. Do you have a pig and a cobra now in your little courtyard with your power? Like, I do. What, where did they come from? I don't know. Is it weirding you out too? Yes. At the very least, kill the cobra before it kills your people. Like, you've got a pig, a cassowary. Oh, they've, they've made an opening right there for the wool. So they must have walked in. Oh, you cassowary walked out. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Looks like you... Yeah, your pig walked out. Oh man, you're losing your private zoo here. Ah, great, but it kept the cobra. I'm not so sure you're, you know... This game is wholly on your side. But yeah, with nothing else in there to eat, that cobra is going to start uh, biting people. Yeah, I was going to say it's making you shoot your solar panel. Unlike G.I. Joe, you are in fact capable of hitting Cobra. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, Beach got food poisoning from snake meat. Well, Beach, maybe you should eat cooked food. And you have a fire. Uh, your crops, maybe? No. Hmm. On the bright side, your people will go visit the graves of your vanquished enemies and they'll feel better. Now, uh, dead men's clothes still do get the dead man's debuff. And as of when I looked yesterday, I couldn't come up with any way to uh, recycle clothes. In one of the mods, you could go ahead and take apart clothing and recycle it back into leather or cloth to get the dead man rid of the dead man's debuff. That does not yet seem to be a thing. Apparently dry cleaners aren't a thing here either, because just saying. Game calls them dead man stuff. I call it vintage pre-owned. I don't know. Everyone's now thinking I'm like going through their grandma's closet. Yep. Well, darn, you're doing pretty darn good, Chibs. <laughs> Despite your first attempt of opening up into mechanical death machines. 
Well, the last time I did that at the very beginning, it was a scyther. And my guys managed to take it out. Like, almost instantly. Not this time. Not this time. <laughs> That's okay, though. I mean, you know, it can't all be cupcakes and lollipops. Although, it would be awesome if it was all cupcakes and lollipops. to flick on the lights so they don't complain about uh, being in the dark anymore. However, we do have low food, but we do have rice, you know, ready already. Yep. They just gotta go out and actually harvest it. And there's your bamboo park farm. prettiest thing, but functional. Yep, I'm slowly, you know, slowly prettying it up a little bit. Well, you know, nobody wants to have an unpleasant cubicle at work. I think that one stockpile might be time to consider relocating it not in the middle of the hallway. Alright, my... one of my persons are inspired. Nice! Increased movement for the next 24 hours. You know? Is that like when people decide that they're going to exercise in the first week in January, your gym is packed, and then it fades after about a day and a half there, too? <laughs> Here's a great tip. Join a gym in February, because you have rough to rough machines, and nobody's there. It's perfect. Everybody who joins in January, let them. They'll be gone by February. I believe in you. You can get one in mining. <laughs> I have a wild boar. You have bacon? I have bacon. You have bacon. I like that you get a wild boar. Normally I get things like two chipmunks self-tamed. What the heck am I going to do with a chipmunk? Certainly not listen to it sing. Uh-uh. That's a no. 
really, I haven't made enough wealth for anything to come and say hi. You haven't made enough wealth for anything yet. Like, you have been attacked more than you needed to be. But yeah, not enough wealth. Looking pretty good there. Got them a little side path to walk around. Hmm. Well, that's not terribly far. How many? Uh, yeah. 2.8 days. So 2.8 out and then 2.8 back. So figure you need six days worth. And I don't have six days worth. Yep. I would actually like to do that. But I can't. Anything obnoxious on map you can hunt for a quick food boost. I would like to... Oh. Mm. You can also eat the monkey. I know it sounds unhygienic. Uh, but since the cobra just fresh killed it, it's still good. I also don't have a pack animal either. This is true. I'm pretty sure eating monkeys is how several, uh, you know, diseases get spread, though. Yeah. Probably should not actually eat monkeys. No. Interestingly enough, because I have a story about eating monkeys, because I've had an interesting life. Um, about 10 years ago, we took, uh, my kindergarten class to the zoo, right? And we had, uh, someone who is from Malaysia and so we you know had been talking about places from around the world and all that and so we were looking for animals from Malaysia you know on the placards they put out front and every single thing we came across endangered critically endangered you know basically everything was endangered except one random squirrel and so we took pictures and we talked about the animals and I had a friend that was from Malaysia, and so I happened to mention, I'm like, yeah, everything was endangered except one squirrel. Is this some sort of ecological, you know, are the forests getting destroyed? What is it? And they were like, send me a picture, the, the pictures that you took. So I sent him, and they come back, and this was the exact answer. That kind of squirrel doesn't taste good. I'm like, wait, all the rest were monkeys and lemurs. He's like, yeah, those are, you know, there's good dishes with those. Okay, I'm friends with someone who eats monkeys. That's good to know. <laughs> Maybe we're just going to have regular tacos for dinner when you come over, okay? But yeah. Speaking what? of food, how's Speaking of the tamales? The tamales are actually getting checked right now. I just had someone come in and ask how much longer, and I said go check. Be because Chibi cannot live off of gaming alone. Need right. food. Yeah, it, it doesn't help that we can completely smell dinner, like, in the office here. Yeah. But, yep. The monkeys did not taste good. That's why they're not endangered.
You know what I've never seen? I don't think I've ever seen boomalope meat, and I assume that's because it fries too quick. You know how sometimes when, like, you're at your friend's house and their dad tries to grill a hamburger, but they use way too much lighter fluid so the meat tastes like lighter fluid? Do you think that's what boomalope meat tastes like? I think so. I'm currently making a cowboy hat. Yeehaw! I'm not quite sure why your nudists decided to get dressed. They were like, unhappy nudity, you're like, it's naked time, and they're like, I'm gonna get put this on now. Here we go. The superior cloth cowboy hat. Social nice. chat impact plus 15%. Just a hoot. Social. Who, in fact, is your social butterfly? Lucy. I like how a nice hat now makes you better able to hang with people, though. This amuses me. Do you think people just come up and say, like, hey man, love your hat? <laughs> I've had people come up and tell me they love my shoes, but never my hat. I don't wear many hats, though. I wear a lot of cute shoes. I'm putting some of the cotton to use. Because it's the fabric of our lives? Alright, that's a poor quality cowboy hat. However... I... Did that still give the 15% social chat? Yep. Apparently, cowboy hats just make you want to hang out more. Okay, the bowler hat also gives the... 15%. Do you think they say yeehaw a lot when they do it? <laughs> I don't know. Do you think they sit around and talk about hats? <laughs> this isn't Team Fortress 2. I don't know, man. The other day, Eric and his buddy were playing a game, um, Roblox, one of the uh, PvP, you know, kill people, and they actually decided to gang up on a guy because the guy was wearing, in their words, the world's stupidest hat. And I felt bad because part of me is like, does this poor guy on the internet know that two 12-year-olds are consistently PKing him because he has a stupid hat? And they're generally not terribly trolly, but they, they decided that it was the world's worst fashion. And since they were in a, you know, PvP area, that guy had to die, his hat was dumb. And before you ask, yes, it was in fact a pretty stupid hat. Traders. You're right. Sometimes you just don't get them very often. There you go, getting more traders. Also, it might be that you're far enough away from the other factions that they're not coming by too often. Because I noticed on one of mine where I picked something that was like two spaces over. Ooh, a spacecraft. Yep, that's a little far away, but I'm glad it's on the map. Um, we've got some marble to work with, so... Production... Have you lost it? Sculpture... Sculpture stable... Mm. Um, meteorite... 
Um, a meteorite just fell from the sky, and it left a chunk of slate. Yep. So that's how you can get new chunks. I had one fall with granite the other day. Smith and Lilith. Uh, I might be trying for Lilith because of that 13 inch stat. Mm hmm. Honestly, Smith might be nice too. A psychically dull masochist. Bet he gets invited to a lot of parties. You're gonna build defenses, so. Or, well, no, they're actually just waiting around for a bit. I love how the raiders seem to get lost on the way to their raiding place. Cabes kind of break AI. They do a little bit. Not mad at it. They're right. going after the limestone wall. And they're beginning their assault. Not their pepper, though. Just the assault. You know what? I am kind of silly. What is the DPS on the revolver? Uh, damage, warm up. Of course you did. That dropped a whole bunch of silver. Yeah, at least they're conveniently located. My cocoa pods always end up giving me something I already have 20 of anyways. I think your recruitment campaign's not going according to plan. And that can sometimes be the, a problem with getting new people is you're like, wait, is your nudist wearing a cowboy hat and nothing else? Yes. Whoa. Okay. It's a look. Think the boots come with it? <laughs> Yep, yep. Now I'm picturing a nudist with a cowboy hat and boots with jangly spurs. I'm a little annoyed at you for that. <laughs> Welcome to this game. Mm hmm. Nudists wear cowboy hats. I, I, I'm not mad at it, I'm just a little confused by it. And two new fresh graves. <sighs> if 
eventually I will get, you know, more than four people. Eventually. To be fair, you got all the way down to one functioning person and pulled it out, though, so... About dead people. To be fair, live people do not like you when you bury them. Really? I did not know that. So I've been told. I mean, I haven't tried to bury any live people lately. Much. <laughs> I love how they eat, like, actual meals in a house where like each person grabs their own food, sits, eats, gets up, and then the next person sits down. <laughs> and right now all they're eating is rice. Mm -hmm. It could be good. I like rice. Me too. How is Sophia doing on cooking? Alright. We need her to mine a little bit. Spoiler, she's making rice. Um, actually, can you go... Dig around here, because I would like that compacted machinery right there. Sounds awfully nice. Sort of give it that classical Greek look going on there. To your cave dwelling dirty hippies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Nobody here is really that great at artistic. What I'm saying is I don't have a Bob Ross. But you have like a half dozen cowboy hats. I know. Is this some new thing you're going through? Like a phase of cowboy hattedness? No. I was hoping, you know, people I could trade with w would be a thing, but uh, it's not. So, through the question out to those watching cowboy hats, yep or nope? All right, let's see what our artist makes up. A destroyed hope. This work bears an image of Lucy winning at a horseshoe pin, planning his next action. Two professors are slumped in defeat. The scene takes place in the middle of a township, and the work suggests the concept of tyranny. This portrayal tells the story of Lucy relaxing at a horseshoe's pen. I... wait, what? I love the descriptions of the artwork here. I don't even... 
So I suppose the professor's hopes were destroyed because I, I think so. I that is a masterpiece, and you must display it to thwart the hopes of others at horseshoes. Also, we do have a vote yes for cowboy hats. <laughs> See, if he has a horse, yes. If he has a pickup truck, you're trying too hard. That, the, that, that's my line. If you don't have an actual horse, probably trying too hard. Although, I will confess, back in the day, there was a guy that didn't get a second date based off of the car seat covers he had in his car. Which I know sounds completely harsh. But they were cow print. And when you think about how much time you end up spending in somebody's car listening to their selection of music when you start, when you date somebody, it was country music and cow hide print seat covers. And that was not going to work. There's just, I, no. There's also a guy that had every one of the Spice Girls singles, and that was a no, <laughs> because... <laughs> Uh, what do I want? What I really, really want? Out of this car, please. Thank you. But yeah. Apparently, cowboy hats, though. People are down. And a lot of rice still? Oh. Hmm. Oh, nope, he's heading up north. to kill yet another person. <sighs> I'm not so sure about your recruitment strategy at this point. Well, on the one side, at least it's not another person yet again managed to kill your people. Yeah, I, I once had someone tell me that I have some really oppressive optimism on my always finding the bright side of things. Cannot bury, cannot bury, uh, hull, corpse, no. And I do not want to consume. Now, have you started training the uh, wild boar to haul? Uh, I just flicked it on. Yeah, because I just thought about that and went, I should probably mention that like, eh, half an hour ago when you got him. Oh. 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 Oh? Oh, no. Oh, boy. <gasps> remember how you said Yeah! You how did you see one yet? Oh, wow. Aren't you glad you built inside a mountain? Oh ho ho! Oh! Oh, oh, oh? Oh, 
it oh. died because oh, um, poor. Well, eat it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible. If the tornado is going to be nice enough to harvest a bunch of animals for you, you should probably eat them. Right? Don't let them go to waste. At least it didn't hit the elephant herd. Nah, at least it didn't hit the boomalopes. Hey, that would have solved one of your problems. That is a ridiculously sized boomalope herd. Oh, wow. I just realized that our elephant had a heart attack. Like four day in game days ago. What do you think elephants have to be stressed about? They yeah, remember everything. Oh, wow. Oh, that is dark. Dang. Can make me like go to the zoo and take some extra peanuts for the poor things. Now I think clean up. Oh, another meteorite. Closer to my base than I like it. No, not really. Apparently it's giving me all the tame quote unquote tame disasters. Now I'm pondering what the turtle's name was. <laughs> you know what they don't have in game? Hmm. Rabbits. Good point. And yeah, they're kind. Of, I mean, they're a small little prey animal. We have other ones, but we don't have rabbits. everybody it's an angry alpaca a man hunting alpacas actually those can fudge you up With a solar flare. Mm. Game's starting to get mean again. Of course, all you people are asleep, so... I like how you start getting hit and it decides to auto save. It's like, oh, you're getting hurt. We're gonna save this here. And now we have alpaca coats for the winter. And we have some more uh, meat. Mm hmm. Which will go great with those rice. Do you think they're making stir fries? Probably. Since we have an actual person that can collect heal root now. I think I'm fine for uh cotton for now. Mm-hmm. No, Lucy, you're going to be growing me. Yeah, he has a growing of nine.
Sand Beach is back to being fully healed again. And Sophia just started a fight with Beach. And Sophia got her butt kicked. Okay, so my dad just said don't start a fight you can't finish. And apparently she's learning this lesson. Although, seriously, I'm a girl. Girls don't start fights. We instead, you know, stab people in the back. It's a totally different thing. Like, a girl, generally, will not walk up and punch you. Instead, she will make sure every one of your friends absolutely despises you for the rest of your life. Because that's a girl's fight. We're mean. And there's a really simple way to know this. If you're a guy, think about which would you rather break up? Two guys fighting or two girls fighting? Exactly. Now I'm making some of those fine meals. Speaking of fine meals, I'm going to go check and see if dinner's ready. I'll be right back. Because, you know, we got to feed Chippy. He's doing all this hard work. He <laughs> deserves some food. <laughs> of course. Oh my god. Sarge, Rover, Patricia, Julia, Inna, Dennis, Catalina, and Bloody. All cats. Now 
It has been it, it has been rumored, and the rumors have come true. Mm -hmm. So I've decided this this cobra right here has been selected for death. In fact, all cobras on map have been selected for death. You're selecting things for death. Cobras. Mm. Are, are we going G.I. Joe style? Oh my goodness. You have been joined by a swarm of cats. Yeah, and now they're all dying because cobras. Cobras. Oh. You're having my Yorkie problem. Why are there, is there a random swarm of cobras? Oh. It's terrible. Do cats try to hunt cobras the way they do small mice? Uh, cobras are going after them from the start. Cats. Cats are allowed indoors. <laughs> You're making them indoor cats. Well, they do have a little bit of a outdoor area that they can play in. <laughs> Oh man, and your cat's getting eaten by a turtle. I thought those things were herbivores. <laughs> Why, hello, random caravan. Would you mind helping with the scorpion problem? Goods trader has for sale. They will buy all my cloth. Do you have extra cloth? I do. You have plenty of it. I'm going to sell the cloth cowboy hats. Except the ones that are good quality. I made a masterwork cowboy hat. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Lucy is running all the way to grab the cobras because they're buttheads that I killed. Mm hmm. And they're going to butcher them. Snakes on the menu. Tired of all these stinking, stinking cobras on this stinking, stinking plane? Yes.
to be fair, I'm not at all surprised that you now have a house full of cats. Because somehow you always get the house full of cats. <laughs> Will cats eat hay? You can turn hay into kibble. Good point. Cats do eat kibble. I was gonna say, I don't think they're really vegetarian, but that would work. I'm trying to talk to you. It's like, nah. -uh. <laughs> Maybe they don't want to talk to you? Terribly rude, though. You seem to have pretty good control over this situation, which of course means things are going to go terribly sideways 20 seconds or less. So that's how this game is. Of course, now you're going to be eaten out of house and home by a swarm of cats, so there's that. You have turned on Make Kibble, right? I'm about ready to. Okay. None of my food will spoil because I've opened up the uh, mountain to have a little vent. Mm hmm. Makes sense. That seems kind of workable. Tell me about this assault rifle. Head damage is seven, but it fires three bullets per. Hmm. Sure. I actually need a better... A better gun.
See, I always thought that if it was inside, it automatically had a roof. You know, if it was inside of a mountain. No. Nope. Not anymore. For some reason, there are certain tiles considered not having a roof. Makes as much sense as anything else. Um, oh. Oh, no. Why is Sophia going crazy? Isn't she the pyromaniac? Yeah, she's your pyromaniac. Oh, no. My cats. Oh. No. No, it's always the crazy ones. Superheated air, which means since you're inside a cave, you've made it an oven, and they're all trapped on the inside. Oh, 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 this is gonna go bad. Did two of the cats managed to get outdoors? Actual outdoors? If you don't get those two out of there, they're going to burn alive with everyone else. Yeah. I can't. The super sure heated hair. Uh-huh. Yep, I know. Yep, just... oh. Youch. <laughs> yeah. Sophia deserved it. Okay, so Smokey Be the Bear says F that. No kitty, no kitty, no kitty. Oh, hot kitty, scorching kitty, burn, burn, burn. That's why you don't adopt the pyros. Check the temperature, you might not want them going back in yet. Okay, let's um... Yeah. Uh, Draft. Expand the allowed area? No. Oh god, your cats are trapped. <laughs> Manager, uh, invert. Invert. Everybody's in, don't explode. <sighs> oh. Well, no, Lucy, Beach, please stop. Oh, oh, God, Bowman just collapsed. They're all dead. I was trying to get them out. Yeah, no, you would have had to draft them and stop them from walking inside. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's, uh,. You got cats out of it? No, I didn't. No. So, um... It... These things happen? 
These things happen in RimWorld. <sighs> oh, 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 and there's the fire. Everyone is dead or gone. Burr, burr, burr. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> well, <clears throat> it's worse than that, Chibi. He's dead, Chibi. So, about the Somalis. <laughs> yes. How about I feed you some dinner? <laughs> because, dang, man, dang. <laughs> well, um, everyone's dead. This is Sadie. And Chibi Ace. <laughs> we'll be back next time. I think I'm up next round, right? I think so, yes. All right, you made it two hours and I just looked two hours and 40 minutes before everyone died. So <laughs> not a bad one, two hours and 40 minutes. Let's see if we can maybe have a little less death. And, oh, 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 I can't, oh man, even the maple trees are dead. Are all of your, every animal dead too? Oh look, I have visitors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. What are they going to get? I. You think they're going to, like, be sad or are they just going to loot? Oh, God. Are they going to die walking into there? <laughs> Because it's still got to be like killer heat, yeah. <laughs> uh, my colony wealth is still four thousand. Oh, that's a pretty uh, sharp decline there, man. Yeah, your visitors are leaving. Nothing to see here. Yep, and this is where the stream ends. Yeah, because it's a sad and lonely little stream. <laughs> you did great on that make the <laughs> spider uh, recovery, though. That that was really Other impressive. than the pirate maniac, I did well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right up until you know. You did great. Yeah. And then your pyro. Never adopt a pyro. <sighs> Never adapt a pyro. Nope. 